There is a saying in English, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And that includes doing the live stream. So here we are back again and it looks as if the live chat is now working. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody, welcome. We are live from Much Wenlock on Boxing Day 2018. It's not a cold day, quite nice here today. A little bit of sunshine. <laughs> And I can see already that the live chat is definitely working. Is it working, Mr. Duncan, this time? It's we were very frustrated because we love the live chat and it wasn't working. Yes, Matrix was first on. Oh, I, I noticed okay. Matrix was first on. So clap, 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 clap for Matrix. OK, <laughs> let's, let's give the clap to Matrix. And the big question is, of course, well, first of all, you can see it's quarter to three here in the UK. So it is late afternoon coming up to early evening and i suppose it's fair to point out that it will be getting dark in about an hour yes yeah, so we haven't got very long here mr duncan before <laughs> we have to go back in the dark yes so i don't really want to walk back home in the dark so instead what is the big watch says Inglis. <laughs> oh well in a moment i will explain everything do, 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 do. And there we are. Oh, Steve, we've made it. We've made it. We've yes. We've made it onto YouTube. We have. And uh, oh, good evening from Yemen. We've got people from all over the world watching us. So sorry about the uh, the uh, the frustrating uh, start, but we hadn't got any uh, live chat, so we had to restart it again. Yes. And you've all come back, which is wonderful. You know what I think? I think it's YouTube. I think YouTube are once again playing around with this site and they're making changes and they're not telling me all the youtube people have gone off for their uh, the boxing day sales and they're not monitoring uh their technology that's <laughs> we're it. only joking that's it everyone we're is on joking. holiday everyone's on holiday at the moment so no one is actually doing any work matrix was first ts Oh, they must have all gone away because when we first came back on again, it said zero people. Yes, I, we were a bit worried that we were going to have to abandon this completely. But anyway, it's nice to see so many people live on Boxing Day. We are broadcasting from the centre of Much Wenlock, right underneath the big clock. So for those who are asking about the clock, it is actually the clock that is situated in the main square here in Much Wenlock. Rosa is here, also Inglés is here. Mr. Steve, my city is called Fortaleza. Mohammed said, who is that beside you, Mr. Duncan? Oh, I see. Don't you know who I am? Don't you know who this is? <laughs> this is this is the second most famous person in Much Wenlock, after me. Of course. Yes, I am very important. You should know who I am by now, if you've watched Mr. Duncan's stream. We're only joking, we're only joking. Um, Somebody said that they were just, uh, no, I better not touch that because I might break it, Mr. Duncan. There you go. Uh, said that they are in a city called a fortress. Oh, I see. Uh, and the name of the city, uh, there we go. Oh, well, we've got somebody in Buenos Aires watching. Uh, there we go. Fortaleza. Uh, Fortaleza, in, um, I'm sure where that is, which means fortress. Yes, I did just read that out. Oh, I didn't realise that, Mr Duncan. OK, I, I can see that Steve is... It's very noisy around here. There's people arriving. When we came, it was quiet. Hmm. And now that we've started doing a live broadcast, there are people coming from all directions. Well, if you remember last year, because we did the same thing last year, we did a live broadcast from the centre of Much Wenlock last year as well. David, Although it... Sorry, go on. No? David's in Tenerife. We've got somebody watching in Tenerife. Are you on holiday? I Hello. think you must be. Hello, Tenerife. Uh, as I was saying, we did this last year. It was much colder, but today it's quite mild. It's a very mild day, and I think that's the reason why there are lots of people out and about, because last year the town was completely dead. There was no one around, but this year there are people everywhere. But when we arrived, there was nobody. And suddenly, there's people everywhere. I know the reason why. They're all following us. Oh, that's true. Well, they, somebody did come up to us and ask us what we were doing, and they wanted your YouTube channel address so that they could go and have a look. Yes, this is live. A few people are asking if this is live. Yes, Inglés, yes. it is live. And you can see behind, there is lots of stuff going on. You can see people walking around. 
And of course, yesterday was Christmas Day and lots of people were relaxing at home, eating lots of food, including us. So we had a lot of food yesterday, didn't we, Steve? Yes, we did. And uh, in fact, that's why everybody's hanging around outside the local uh, supermarket, the little spa shop, because they've eaten everything yesterday. <laughs> Their families have been round. They've got uh, no food left in the house and they're all coming out to replenish their cupboards. David says it's 22 degrees in Tenerife. Isn't that nice? That sounds perfect. Not too cold, not too hot. I think it's about 10 here. I've been to Tenerife. Oh, OK. Uh, there's a great big volcano in the middle. Uh, and it's quite fascinating because you can go up very high and uh, you can be above the clouds and you can look down on top of the clouds. It's wow. a fascinating place. So you're that high up. You're so high up you can actually look above the clouds. You can. You can. You can look down on top of the clouds. And that's in Tenerife. So yes. what about you? Have you ever been to the top of the volcano at the centre of Tenerife? What is your special Christmas meal, sir? Well, we had a little change yesterday, didn't we? We did. Because normally we have turkey. So a big apology to those who <laughs> are meat, are meat avoiders. So there are people who avoid eating meat, <coughs> but we do like mm. to have the occasional nibble on a piece of meat. So we had, we didn't have turkey yesterday, did we? No, we had chicken. We had chicken, which was a, a, a departure away from our usual turkey. We were going to go vegetarian, uh, but we couldn't quite bring ourselves to do it this year. <coughs> Bless you. You know why I'm coughing? No. Because I had a peanut bar before coming live, which I knew was a mistake, because I've got peanuts stuck in the back of my throat, little bits of peanut. <laughs> We've had lots of people come up to us. In fact, whilst I was setting this up, I was putting the, the, the camera on there and setting the microphone up. Someone actually came up to us and asked Steve to take a picture of them. So there was a family. And, yes. and all I could think of was that is a big mistake to make because Steve is not very good at working technology. So it took a few attempts. Well, I, I thought they wanted a picture of us. <laughs> we th they said, oh, will you, t will you take a picture? And it was of them. We yes. thought they wanted a picture of us. Don't they know who we are, yes. Mr Duncan? Don't they realise we are the most famous people in Mitch <laughs> Wenlock? Yes, and uh, you, you used to have a, a, a Wikipedia entry, uh, Mr Duncan, and somebody removed it. So we're going to make an, a special appeal again that uh, if anyone is a moderator, uh, or is that the word, if anyone no. has editing rights That's it. on Wikipedia, please add Mr Duncan, not me, Add Mr. Duncan back in as a famous YouTuber English teacher mm. into U Wikipedia under the Much Wenlock page. Mm. Put him back in because he deserves it for 12 years. So this is a special live broadcast for Boxing Day. We did the same thing last year and we thought this morning it would be nice to do it all over again because we did walk into town and the reason why we walked into town is because we ate so much food yesterday. We ate a lot of food. Now, some people say that you can get intoxicated or drunk by having lots of alcohol. But I believe that you can also get intoxicated from eating too much food. So today we have a bit of a food hangover. Do you think there's such a thing as a food hangover? Definitely, because I think if you eat too much food, your body's having to use a lot of energy uh, to, to process all that food, and you get very tired. Tias just said, mm. if someone's asking for a photograph, we should be charging them. We should. And I said exactly the same thing to you, Mr Duncan. They want us to take a picture of them. What do we get back in return? Yes, they, they, they want... Yeah they want to use our professional skills, then they should pay for it. I think so. I think you're right there, Steve. We should start charging. Maybe in a couple of years, when we become really famous, maybe people will come up to us and, and they will ask to have their photograph taken with us. Yes. Well, Mr Duncan, uh, as well as being Boxing Day today, do you also know what today is known as? I have a feeling that Steve is going to tell me what today is. So besides Boxing Day, which is the day after Christmas Day, 
What else is it, Steve? Well, I looked this up and apparently today is also St. Stephen's Day. So what does that mean? Well, St. Stephen was the, the first Christian martyr. And of course, my name is Stephen. Ah, so so, so, so today, today's date is actually also named after you. It's named after me. It's Mr. Steve's Day. It's Mr. Steve's Day. And we're supposed to have a feast. The Feast of St. Stephen we're Ooh. supposed to have today. So we will definitely be having a feast later. So we're having a feast. We're, we're having, well, basically, we, we, we prepared so much food yesterday. We, we still have lots of food left over. So we will fry all the food in a frying pan. Interesting. Gatsu says, I have no box gift. Oh, OK. Uh, so Gatsu understands that on Boxing Day, you are supposed to give out gifts traditionally gifts to workers uh and uh, they haven't had a box so uh sorry about that that's it that, <laughs> that's why it's called boxing day because a lot of people don't realize that boxing day is a tradition that harks back many many years mm. where those who worked over the christmas period would receive their wages and quite often it was contained in a box so all the servants, all the cooks, all the people that were working, quite often for the gentry, for the wealthy people. So the servants that were working in the house, they would often receive their salary the day after Christmas. And it was mm. presented in a box. Hence the name Boxing Day. Oh, how did, about... you, did you know that? If you didn't, you do now. Oh, the clock is chiming. It's a bit, it's a bit, uh, well, that clock must be wrong. No, that clock is wrong. It's actually three o'clock now here in the UK. Maybe you could hear the church bell ringing there. <laughs> and Nesto says, many wishes to you both, especially Mr. Steve. Well, what do you think to that, Mr. Duncan? What do I think? I think that's amazing. <laughs> Who is Mr. Steve? Says the next person. <laughs> A lot of people are now asking, who is Mr. Steve? This is Mr. Steve. This person here with the, the red and black hat on, looking very, very... The good-looking good one. Looking very handsome. That's Mr. <laughs> Steve. And this one, the ugly one, is Mr. Duncan. Not at that, all. That's, not at all. That's me. I'm sorry. I'm not sexy. I'm not sexy like all the other English teachers on YouTube. I'm very sorry about that. I don't know what to say to that, Mr. Duncan. Maybe there's a lot of people on who know you, but they don't know me. There are a lot of people walking around, and you might notice that many of them are very, very old. Well, that's because uh, this is a retirement area, of course, and lots of people uh, who have worked all their lives get to 65, which is the retirement age in the UK. Did you know the retirement age in France is 55? I like that. I'm moving to France. 55. And they have tried. It's 65 here in the UK. Well, in fact, it's, old. it's 68 now. I do like that idea. So in France, you can retire from work at 55. But in the UK, it used to be 65. It's now gone up to, but depending on your age, but I won't be able to retire now and get a pension now until I'm 67. And some people it will be 68 and they're thinking of raising it to 70. That's incredible. But in France it's still 55. And every president for many years has tried to move it back up because it's obviously very expensive to pay people from the age of 55. And uh, they've all failed because they riot in the streets. Yes. Yes, if there's one thing that the French do very well, it's protest. You may have noticed. I'm not agreeing with it. I'm just saying that when the French get annoyed, they, they either chop people's heads off or, or they just riot in the streets wearing high visibility jackets. Nicker wants to join uh, St. Stephen, or shall I call it Mr. Stephen's Feast Day. Yes, we will be having a lovely feast later. We will be. Well, somebody else just said uh, that the retirement age in their country was uh, 58 and 60 uh, for, for women and men. Well, we really are probably, we have to work the longest before we retire in the UK. I mean, 68. They're thinking you, of raising it to 70. Yes, but do you think it's a good idea to raise the retirement age? Because, yes, they were talking about raising it to 70. 
They were because we haven't got any money to pay uh, people anymore because there are so many elderly people in the UK now. I that, find that, uh, I can't believe that. Yes, that is the problem. We have a lot of elderly people in the UK. I'm lowering my voice because there's quite a few walking around. And uh, we can't afford, as a proportion of the country, we have a large elderly population. Uh, so, therefore, it's expensive to pay people from 65. So we're having to raise it to 68 and maybe even 70. That's incredible. So you have to work. You might have to work in this country until you're 70 years old. Uh, there, there will be people dropping dead at work. They'll all be dying in the offices and in the shops and the factories. People will be, they, they will be carrying all the bodies out <laughs> and putting them in the street. Uh, Inglis says, do you think it's a, a wise idea to talk to somebody whose passing is in the street? Not in this country. No, it's not, a bit... Not everyone... It might appear... You know when you watch television nowadays, Steve? Yes. It appears that everyone is very comfortable being on television. Can I just tell you something? Most people do not want to be on television and they don't want to have a camera pointed at them. Now, the reason why it appears so is because all the people that appear on television want to be on television they well, are, they've been pre-asked haven't yes, they yes so they are people that are trying to get noticed or trying to to get their name mentioned so that's the reason why so it might seem as if everyone wants to be on television but i can tell you now if i if i pointed this microphone at someone they would probably tell me to go away and not and use some very expletive language somebody a few people have asked what is the spa shop ah, behind us the spa shop is a little local supermarket like a convenience store where everything is sold at very expensive prices yeah so you can pick up some milk or bread <laughs> Uh, magazines, cigarettes, <laughs> so there's even you, a post office in there as well. So if you go to a normal shop, you will pay about 50 pence for something. But if you go to the spa shop, you will pay about two pounds. No, the spa shop actually <laughs> isn't that expensive. Uh, there are far more expensive convenience shops around. The spa's quite good, Oh, okay. I think. I have a feeling that Mr. Steve is being sponsored by the spa shop. Mm. Oh, <laughs> well, yes, there's lots of people around here. When are we having our feast, Mr. Duncan? Am I cooking it tonight? Steve is cooking again because you are such a good cook. True. Bubble and squeak is what we're going to have later. Bubble and squeak. Ilan. Hello to Ilan watching in Turkey. <laughs> Turkey. Oh, well, we love Turkey <laughs> and we love Turkey. We've been to Turkey and we like to eat Turkey. That's true. And you've done a very uh, well-known lesson about Turkey, have you not, Mr. Duncan? Uh, oh, Silver says spa might sue us. I don't know what spa stands for, do you, Mr. Duncan? Well, I think it's just a spa. It's a brand that's been around since the 1970s. It's been around a long time. It's a very old brand. It's been around for, for about 40, maybe 50 years. A bit like co-op. <laughs> no one knows who co-op is. We've got uh, co-op are quite famous in this country. Uh, uh, somebody, Inglis has said, what is on our heads? What type of hat would you call it? Well, these are just woolly hats. So they, they are made of wool and they are designed to keep your head nice and warm. So that's why we're wearing them, because if we don't wear them, we will become very cold quickly, you okay. see. And my ears will also become very numb. Uh, uh, Beat Beatrice says we look very young. Oh, that's very kind of you. How kind. Thank you very much. I needed that lift today. I feel much better now. Everybody likes to be told they look young. On Sunday, by the way, we are live again on Sunday and we will show you, don't worry, we will show you what we had for Christmas. What did Santa Claus bring for us? So we will show you that on Sunday. Don't forget, we are both live on Sunday from 2 p.m. UK time. And it is the day before, the day before the end of the year, next Sunday. Oh, you mean Eve, New Year's Eve Eve? Yes, it, it is New Year's Eve Eve next Sunday. As we last broadcast on uh, Christmas Day, Eve Eve. Uh, it's all Eve Eve this year, Mr. Duncan. Uh, 
Anna has said, what uh, feast are we going to have tonight? Well, I'm going to cook bubble and squeak. Mm, bubble and squeak. Which is all the leftover vegetables from yesterday, um, fried, in a, fried in a frying pan. So potatoes, carrots, Brussels sprouts, all fried uh, in a frying pan. And then I will heat up the, t the chicken that's left over with the gravy and pour that on top. And as you know, every year there is always an argument about the Christmas dinner. And you, do you know what the argument is? Who has the, 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 who has the leg, the no, leg bone? No, it's something more serious than that. It's actually whether or not you should have Brussels sprouts because some people hate Brussels sprouts, don't they? But we love them. We love Brussels sprouts. I, 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 could, eat, I could eat a whole bag of Brussels sprouts. Yes, we were hoping as well that, that there would be enough chicken left to make a chicken curry, uh, but in fact, I don't think there will be. Uh, so yes, I'm going to fry the, 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 the remaining leftover vegetables and parsnips as well. So Brussels sprouts, parsnips, potatoes, sweet potatoes, oh. um, carrots, sort of mix them all up, fry them in a frying pan so they go brown, so it goes brown, uh, slightly burnt, underneath and then I will heat up the gravy that's left over the chicken gravy and uh, put the chicken in heat it up and then the bread sauce as well and then we'll I will put a bit of pepper in it to spice it up a bit so we've got a message on the live chat TS says I will send you some fried rice which is called nasi goreng Ooh, I've had that we've had that in Malaysia we have had that in Malaysia we've been to Malaysia many times and we've had nasi goreng in, in Malaysia fried rice delicious are we going to move anywhere else Mr Duncan we will have a move in a moment let's just wait till these people have gone by ah. because I don't want to drop my camera equipment on their heads maybe maybe we should interview these people that are going no, by I, I don't think that's a good idea I know now that somebody said that I've got I've got an inkling that I want to uh, no we won't no it's probably we best not get to get beaten up uh, that's the other thing, you might get beaten up if you decide to suddenly thrust a microphone in somebody's face. Yes, so I, we didn't have turkey yesterday, we decided to do something different yesterday. Instead of having turkey, we had something else. And no, it wasn't next door neighbour's dog, before you say so. That's very rude, very naughty. Uh, there is a missing dog in Homer, but it wasn't us uh, that pinched it. <laughs> it was some other dog snatcher. I know I lived in China for many years, but, but I, still, I still have never tasted dog, definitely. Well, not of the animal variety anyway. There were some people walking by then, and when I said that, one of them looked at me. They went... <gasps> <laughs> well, this is live, baby. It's live. This is as live as live can be. We are actually live now. It's coming up to 10 minutes past three. On a Wednesday, I keep forgetting what day it is because it, it's very strange at Christmas time. All of the days seem the same. So it's Wednesday, it's Boxing Day, and yesterday it was Christmas Day. Did you have something nice yesterday for Christmas? Did Santa Claus bring you something? What did he empty out of his sack? Mm, uh, Diego says, have we ever visited Brazil? Never been there, although I think, Steve, you want to go to Brazil, don't you? I do. I do want to go to Brazil, and I have asked many times for somebody to uh, to invite me over. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to pay for the ticket. We've obviously, got be, we've got to be, uh, <laughs> you know, full expenses paid yes. trip. We we want we want a five star hotel in the rainforest, we're looking over the, the the Brazilian rainforest and over the River Amazon. So we need a a proper suite looking over the Amazon River, and and we want room service, fully inclusive. We do. So, any <laughs> offers for 2019, uh, we will be on the next flight. Yeah, and then we'll come to Brazil. We just need someone to pay for it all. Oh, Beatrix has received a coat from Santa Claus. Oh, that sounds very nice. Is it cold where you are? So maybe you need the coat to keep you warm. Do we know the, uh, the Slovak or is that Slavic Republic? I've heard of the Slavic we Republic. Have indeed. Definitely. Was that the former Yugoslavia? You're on your own there, Steve. Uh, I think the Slavic Republic came out of uh, 
the breakup of what used to be Yugoslavia. But uh, please correct us. Yes. Of course, about 20 years ago, it was a very uh, chaotic situation in that part of the world. Yes, there was a nasty war. So uh, we'd like to be educated on that. So please tell us about the Slavic Republic. Murat is in Istanbul, in Turkey. There's a lot of people in Turkey today. Don't you think, Mr. Duncan? I think so. I'm just reading the live chat because there's lots going on. We've been on now for 26 minutes already. I can't believe it. 26 where the time has flown. And Mr. Steve has bought me some lovely presents for Christmas. One, one of the presents that he's actually bought me, I'm using right now. I won't tell you what it is because we'll talk about it on Sunday. So I don't want to give all of it away. So on Sunday, we will talk about the gifts that we received yesterday from Father Christmas. <laughs> That'll be exciting. It won't take me long, Mr. Duncan, because I only had one. I thought you had more than one present. Well, <laughs> we will reveal that tomorrow. But Mr. Duncan, you received a lot more than I did. That's true. I, I, I received a lot of gifts. I don't know why it would appear that I'm very popular. I didn't realise that. Ah, in, ah, former Czechoslovakia. Oh, so thank you for telling us that. Yes, very good, Steve. Former Czechoslovakia, thank you. But I, I can see the confusion. Yes, my world, uh, my general knowledge of world events is, uh, is scatty. Mr. Steve's, Mr. Steve's atlas of the world is just a blank piece of paper. Argentina, yes, we will go to Argentina because we know a lot of people are watching us in Argentina and uh, we'd be very happy to go there, including uh, some of our most regular viewers. Yes, of course, Belarusia, I believe, lives in Argentina. And not, not far away from there is also Pedro. And I've noticed that they're not here today, so I imagine they are very busy. Is Sue Cat also from Argentina? I think so, mm. although I'm not going no. to... No, I'm not saying... No. What? I, I'm just trying to remember that whether <laughs> she was from, uh, uh, from Argentina or not. I think <laughs> it's South America. OK, then that's very... I like listening Ooh. to Mr Steve's inner monologue live. Rambling on about something I don't know anything about. As usual. <laughs> Should know. I did write it all down, because if you remember when I was doing my uh, register... I wrote all these details down of everybody, where they were from, which country they were from. Uh, Saudi Arabia, we've got a few people watching us from Saudi Arabia. Wow. And hello, it must be so, a lot warmer there th than it is here. So hello to everyone watching in the Middle East. Yes, T.S. says Sukat is from Argentina. Yes, oh, you're right, Steve. I was right, of course. Steve's right about something. <laughs> I can't believe it. Jordan, we've got a lot of people from the Middle East watching us, what we would describe as the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, uh, Amman, places like that. We've never been to Vietnam. Someone just asked, have you been to Vietnam? No, I, we haven't. So that is Hu An, Hu An Phi. Have you been to Vietnam? No, we've never been there. Uh, somebody else asked earlier, you, it would be good for you to go because you have a lot of... Uh, viewers in Vietnam. Yes, two of the countries in the world where I have the, the largest viewership. I have a lot of people watching in India and also in Vietnam as well. And over the past few months, I've had more and more people watching in India. So can I say a big hello to anyone watching in India? And it's nice to have your company because we've, we've had lots of... I think if I was to name the country where I've had the biggest increase in viewers, Steve, I would say that India is the place. Well, India is a, uh, well, we ought to invest in India, Mr. Duncan, because that's going to be one of the countries that does very well. It's, it's think, what they uh, call, it's what they call an emerging economy. Definitely. Uh, that's the place to invest, Mr. Duncan. So, so a lot of people believe that India in around about 10 years time will be as big as China as far as trade and as, as being economically wealthy. I'm sure we will want, when we leave the European Union, I'm sure that we will want to do a trade deal with India. Yes, so who knows? And of course, next year, because we haven't even mentioned 2019, because next week it's the end of 2018 and we welcome in a new year. But here in the <laughs> UK, here in the UK, it is going to be a very strange year because 2019 is going to be the year of Brexit. 
What's Steve doing Somebody there? just said that they're watching us from the spa shop behind us. No. Uh, I see Spinhead says, hi, I'm watching you in the spa. Come and say hello. Mm, <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe them earlier. Yes, so come out now and wave to us if you're watching. Okay, yes, we've, come we've, out and wave to okay, us. Okay, come out right now and wave and say, hello, Mr. Duncan, we can see you. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was strange. I <laughs> thought that was you. Oh, my goodness. I got a bit worried then. Blimey, we would have... In come, yes. We, we, if you'd come out then, we'd have had to interview you. <laughs> that would have been very strange. Shall we move somewhere else, Mr. Duncan? How strange is that? Oh, I don't know what's happened here. Are there? I've... The problem now is my fingers are very numb. I can't feel my hands. So when I press the screen, I I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. But yes, so there is the spa shop. If you are in there right now, come on out and say hello. See, I told you, they're not in there. <laughs> oh, you fibber. A fibber, a fib. That's it. A fib is it's another word for liar, but it's not quite so harsh. Oh, OK. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> liar, liar, your pants are on fire. Just a joke. They were just joking with us, toying with us. And uh, it would have been nice, though. It would have been very nice if you were watching us from the spa shop. Inigo says, it looks as if you are very pleased to be leaving the European Union. How, oh, do, no. how do you know what we think? You don't know. We've never talked about what we think about Brexit. We've never, ever mentioned it. So we don't, we don't share our points of view about that, do we? Although, having said that, we went to one of our neighbours the other night for, for a meal it was very nice, by the way, but I mentioned Brexit, didn't I? And wow, I really regret mentioning it. You can't talk. Brexit is a very touchy subject. It's a, when we say a touchy subject, it's a subject that is controversial, mm. that is likely to make people argue. Something you should avoid mentioning is touchy. Yes, and we went to this, the neighbour's house, and it was quite obvious as soon as we mentioned the word Brexit that... Uh, one person in the household voted to leave and one voted to stay. And I think they've had a lot of arguments about it. Uh, I think it's fair to say we are not happy uh, about it, Mr. Duncan. We're not uh, happy. We're not happy. We we're voted, not happy. We voted to stay. Yes. Um, <laughs> so and, there uh, I was just saying we didn't mention it and then Steve mentions it. But then we'll never know which is the right decision because we won't. It'll be 10 or 20 years at least before the full effects of this become uh, apparent. Well, the, the thing is, you see, for the rest of our lives, this will affect us. So for the next 30, 20, 30 years, this is going to affect everyone. <laughs> oh, somebody just said that we're both very handsome and they're looking for sugar daddies. <laughs> Can uh, I, can I'm afraid I just, you've come to the wrong place. You are definitely looking in the wrong place if you're looking for a sugar daddy. Well, we're not daddies and we haven't got any sugar. <laughs> Who are you? Who, are you saying that we look like dads? Someone's dad? Oh, look at that. Okay, what are you doing, Steve? Uh, I'm looking for... Oh, yeah, I'm going the wrong way, Mr. Duncan. You are certainly going... There we the, go. Yes, you both look handsome. Thank you very much to... <laughs> I can't read that. It's so small. What's happened? I should have brought my reading glasses. Where oh, Mr. Duncan, I can read it. Let's Nothing wrong with my eyesight. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. Never mind. We've no, got. There it is. Look. We have so many people on today, and that is. Uh, I can read it out, Mr. Duncan. Serrerie's man. I'm not sure. I'm not oh. sure. But anyway, we no, are not. We are not sugar daddies. We're looking for sugar daddies. Yes, I'm looking for a sugar. <laughs> I'm looking for a sugar daddy. If there are any sugar daddies out there, uh, I'm you know attractive, young. Well, okay, youngish, and uh, you know, right here, I I can wash your dishes and iron your underpants just like I do for him. Oh, I can iron my own, Mr. Duncan. I love that silence there. <laughs> Shall we have a little move around? Let's have a move around, Mr. Duncan. I feel as though my legs are freezing to the spot. Shall I hold the microphone? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, he Please. never likes me handle his equipment. Don't handle my equipment. Steve can't handle my equipment anymore. You he's, stay on camera. He's not allowed to. OK, so we're, we're moving a bit further over. And I thought, you know, you know what I wanted to show? I wanted to show the Christmas tree in the window over here because it's so beautiful. And you can see... If we could just if we just set ourselves up here, there we go. 
You can see just behind, over there, look, there's, there is a beautiful shop done up with all sorts of festive lights and there's a beautiful Christmas tree in the window as well. Just over there, can you see it? It used to be a tea room and then before that they used to sell hardware, tools and things like that. But now it's a place that sells, what does it sell now, Steve? Uh, it sells uh, uh, gifts. Ecclesiastic ecclesiastical ecclesiastical uh items items so if you're a priest yes or a choir boy <laughs> uh then you can uh who wear special robes. clothing robes uniforms you can have them made in that shop um not sure whether there's a big call for that type of thing uh but you can see in one of the windows uh, there is actually a, a dummy <laughs> with a, a kind of robe, wearing a kind of robe. There is an answer to that, by the way. There is, there is a great joke I was going to say there, but I don't want to offend anyone. So let's go across the road and have a closer look. Because the, also the, the bread shop has also got a very nice display, which looks like it's uh, maybe the nativity display, because people like to, at Christmas, make their shops look pretty and inviting so that we'll all go in and buy things from them. Mm. So yes, let's have a look in some of the shop windows. Wait there, let's, let's go across the road. I have to make sure, first of all, that I don't get run over by any cars. I'll so, stop the traffic, Mr Duncan. So let's go. So we'll have a look in one of the windows. So we're crossing over, and there you can see now already in the window, you can see one of the robes that we mentioned earlier. So that is for people who are maybe bishops or priests or if they are choir boys, if they sing in a church choir, maybe they, they need a robe to wear. And there you can see in the window there. So this is actually a gift shop, but also it sells things for those who perform services in churches, which is interesting. And there in the window, look at that. You can see a beautiful display, a Christmas display in the window. I will see if I can zoom in slightly there. Isn't that lovely? So there you can see, even though Christmas has gone, it was yesterday, everything is still looking very festive. So I hope you enjoy that. And would you like to have a look in the bakery window? Oh, it, oh, look at that, Steve. Look at that. It's, that looks like the nativity scene. Ah. It's the nativity scene, Mr. Duncan. And, uh, Yes, yeah, so there's Joseph, Mary and the baby, and there's the three wise men over there, Mr. Duncan. Carrying, bearing their gifts. They are. And, and now you are watching two wise men streaming live on YouTube. Let's go to the baker's. So now we're going to walk a bit further. We're going to go to the baker's shop. For those who have just tuned in, we are now live on YouTube on a Wednesday. It is Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. And you can see Steve is walking in front of me. Very good, Steve. And there, and there is the view in the baker's shop as well. Isn't that interesting? They look like carol singers. Is that what they're doing, Steve? Are, are they carol singers? They're carol singers and they're, they're, um, uh, they're cooking uh, chestnuts on a fire because they're cold. Oh, I see. So they are roasting chestnuts on an open fire. There we go. You can see the chestnuts roasting there. And they are singing Christmas carols. So let's have a look at the road because the lights have come on now, Steve. The lights are now on in Much Wenlock. So the lights have just come on. So yes, oh, everything is still looking very Christmassy here. It certainly is and uh, I think the Christmas spirit is still still uh, evident today. Everyone's quite friendly. So even though Christmas has I suppose passed by because it was yesterday everyone is still feeling very festive. Including us Mr Duncan. <laughs> um, although we didn't uh, we said yesterday that we didn't really feel very Christmassy, didn't we, Mr. Duncan? Yes, it, it, I must admit this year it's felt very strange. It hasn't really felt like Christmas, to be honest. But what do, what do we mean when we say Christmassy? 
That's an interesting phrase. I was thinking, Mr Duncan, yesterday, when we say you feel Christmassy, what does it actually mean? It means you have the sense that Christmas is here, or you have the feeling that Christmas is approaching, or, of course, maybe on the day of Christmas. So on Christmas Day, you feel very Christmassy. The feeling of Christmas being here. Yes, I, I, I presume if, if uh, whoever you are around the world, whenever you're celebrating any particular festival, whatever festivals you celebrate, there must be a feeling when you've done it from a very young age that uh, there is a certain feeling that goes with the celebration of an important festival. So for us it's Christmas, uh, it could be Eid of course, and there's many other festivals around the world where perhaps you give presents there's a lot of celebration families get together it's an annual event that you've experienced as a young child and it makes you feel excited it makes you feel good but I think as you get older that feeling tends to go away because uh, a lot yeah. of these Christmas is quite often that feeling is reserved or is mainly felt by children let's go across the road so yes, I think as you get older, I think what Steve is actually saying is as you get older, you become less excited maybe about Christmas. So I think that's, yes, it might be true, but I, I always love Christmas. Every year I like to put Christmas lights on the house. And there you can see the Christmas lights here in the town centre of Much Wenlock and the Christmas tree. Yeah. So You're standing in a puddle, Mr. Duncan. Uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm only joking. I think we're okay. So let's turn the camera around and, and yes, you could, we, can have, we can have a view of the square, but also we can have a view of the Christmas tree at the same time. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so the Christmas tree is now behind us. I don't know where Mr. Steve is going. Oh, there he is. Hello, Steve. I came around that way, Mr. Duncan, because uh, I couldn't go behind you the other way because uh, there's a big branch sticking out. Oh, okay then. <laughs> and uh, I didn't want that uh, poking me up the backside. It's not what I've heard. Are you level, Mr. Duncan? You look a bit wonky. Yes, I am a bit wonky. I feel very wonky. I don't feel very level today. Let's move away from there because the light is dreadful there. I don't know why. <laughs> it makes us look awful. That's better. <laughs> I feel better in that position. We're back to the spa shop again, Mr. Duncan. No, the spa shop is not behind us. That's the other shop, the ecclesi ecclesiastical shop. So oh. I hope you're enjoying this. The live chat has gone very quiet. That's wonky. That's the correct phrase. Yes, if something is wonky, it means it isn't level. It isn't level. It's wonky. Wonky. It isn't level. I don't think it's going to rain, so we've got no worries about that because mm. it's just a very cloudy but still quite a warm day. It's cloudy, as you can see now in the sky. So cloudy but no rain, which is nice. Uh, no, it's... Uh... The word is not wanky. <laughs> That's uh, definitely that's not the word, no. something entirely different. Yes. Uh, Palmyra, a wonky, W-O-N-K-Y. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the K-Y no, is very it, important. There's no snow uh, in December this year. We don't always get snow. Uh, in fact, we probably only get snow once every few years. Yes, but we had a lot of snow last year. We had a lot last year. Three, three times last year it snowed here. It did, uh, but we haven't got any this year, which is, I think we're quite pleased about. We'd had enough last year. Yes. We had to clear the driveway three times. What are you doing, Steve? Trying to get the live chat up. <laughs> I'm, sure people, I'm sure people enjoy seeing your big finger. That's correct, Matrix. Yes, ecclesiastical. ecclesiastical, relating to the Christian church or its clergy. The ecclesiastical hierarchy. Mr. Duncan, you were you were getting a bit worried about me uh, because you thought that I was talking about religion too much. I didn't think you were talking about it too much. I just thought it was interesting that you were mentioning it a lot. And I thought maybe, where are you going? Well, I don't know. You keep me... <laughs> I said... 
<laughs> I move the camera, then that's fine. Okay, don't worry about it. Oh, can't you level it up? So I thought maybe Mr. Steve was becoming religious, you see. Oh, Miss, no, no. I have not been uh, touched by any spirits. Um, <laughs> but have you touched any spirits? Ah, nice one, Mr. Duncan. You oh. mean whiskey, gin, vodka, yes. that sort of thing? Because when we talk about spirits, it can mean maybe the the undead, maybe a person who is dead, but they are still around as a ghost. Oh, I thought you meant spirits as in alcoholic spirits. Or, yes, of course, spirit can also mean a sense of happiness or joy. So maybe you have the Christmas spirit, which means the feeling of Christmas. And as you said, it can also mean alcohol as well. So spirit has a lot of meanings. Hmm. Mr. Duncan, I don't know what to do to get the live chat. My fingers don't work. No, your fingers Somebody are... said something about the spa shop. Okay, yes, I know. Somebody's pretending to be in the spa shop. Please come out. Their shift finishes at four. Yes, I don't... So I, I, think, going to come I think, out yes, there. I think, Steve, somebody is winding us up. I think we are being wound up. They are joking. I'm only talking... It's I'm only talking about religion at the moment because... A lot, because it's just that time of year hmm. when I'm not coming at it from any particular angle. No, it's just because uh, it's Christmas. It's just Christmas and yeah. there's a lot of things to talk about. I promise next weekend, next Sunday when we are live again, we won't mention religion or anything at all because it's the end of the year. What we will be talking about on Sunday is what we had for Christmas and also what our plans are for 2019. Oh, I've got big plans, Mr. Duncan. You always have big, big plans for 2019. Steve always has big plans. The only problem is he doesn't follow them through. This is the thing. My, my goal this year is when you make uh, New Year resolutions, what you're going to do this year, mm. uh, what you decide you want to do, how can I make it happen this year? How can I bring my wishes and actually make them happen yes the resolutions that you make when the new year arrives quite often people will not keep them no um some i keep some of them and then the big ones attend to because what happens is you're on holiday uh at the moment you make these big plans for next year and then you go back to work and you get back into your daily routine and then it's a lot of effort to sometimes make your goals happen. Uh, so this year, the big thing for me is how am I going to make these things happen when I'm going back? That's the thing, when you go back to work and you get back into your everyday routine. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about that, won't we, Mr. Duncan? Yes, lots about of things. About presents, about resolutions. Yeah, we'll be talking about lots of things on Sunday. Some more local people going by. Do we so, know them? So on Sunday, we're talking about New Year's resolutions. You can perhaps you want to share yours. So if you have any plans for 2019, something you want to do, maybe a place you want to visit, let us know on Sunday, 2 p.m. UK time. We will be here live, but not here. We won't be in the town square on Sunday. We will be back in the nice warm studio. Badaway has asked, how often do you do these live streams? Perhaps you haven't watched us before, so mm. Mr. Duncan. Officially, we are with you every Sunday. Every Sunday from 2 p.m. UK time. Every Sunday. But sometimes we like to make little surprise live streams, such as today. We are out and about live in the centre of the town in which we live. Oh, some people already telling us about their New Year's resolutions. Oh, OK. Love, peace and happiness. Tia says that she wants a new start. Uh, but the big question is, how do you... It's all right to write these resolutions down and say, for example, I want to do... Well, you might decide that you want to have a new job mm. uh, and change your job, for example. Yes. But then you get into the routine of everyday life how do you actually break through that and make your resolutions come true? It's not easy. It's not easy. So we'll be discussing that on Sunday. Mm. 
And that's the thing. You, you, you say you're going to do something, but you don't do it. You talk the talk, but you don't walk the walk. It's a great expression. Uh, Tran says, why you don't make more teaching videos like before? Yes, well, I do make the occasional video lesson. I still do it. A lot of people think I don't do it anymore, but I do. I made some grammar lessons. I made a lesson just a, a week or two ago about jealousy. So I'm still making my video lessons, but a lot of people think I've stopped, but I haven't. I'm still making them. And of course, I do my live streams as well. So I'm always a very busy man. Thank you, Anna. But we, you do tend, we do tend to make more live streams now uh, than we did, uh, did before. Hmm. Uh, a couple of people from Spain, at least, today. Oh, hello to Spain. Yes, we had somebody from, uh, I think it was Catalan. And now somebody from Spain as well. Uh, well anyway, we won't go into that. <laughs> Can I say a big thank you, by the way, to a lovely lady called Tatiana. I think it's Tatiana yesterday who sent a lovely donation on PayPal. So thank you very much for that. Absolutely lovely. I, I must check the name when I get back home, but I will give you a special mention on Sunday as well during the live stream. So thanks a lot. What a wonderful Christmas Day surprise that was. Gatsu has said, yes, this, uh, these live streams help with, with, uh, with the, the listening mm. skills which is, of course, why we do them. That is the reason why we do it. This is a great way to improve your listening skills because you are listening to something that's live and spontaneous. So nothing you see now has been prepared. Everything is spontaneous. Oh, Tran says that uh, they've been following your channel since 2009. Wow, nine years you've been yes. following. Thank you very much for, for your your company for the past nine years. Happy Christmas, best of luck from Pakistan. Oh, who is that? I want to say your name. Where are you? That looks like Fida. Does that say Fida? I think it does. Fida, Fida Rasul. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Yes, we will be back here on Sunday. So don't worry, we will be here. Spontaneous. <laughs> spontaneous is a great word it means you do something without planning you do something suddenly without warning you do something that is unplanned or unprepared how's that which is what we did today you're i'm teaching english live in the town square of much wenlock well i wouldn't say this was spontaneous as such because you did sort of plan to do it well, I plan to do it, but everything in this is spontaneous. That's true. Nothing in this live stream has been planned, like these people walking by behind us. So, yeah, I didn't plan that. And I didn't plan this, this guy going by. I didn't plan him going by with his, with his beard and his big hat. See, I didn't plan that. How ca I can't plan things like that. Uh, Marat, no, spontaneous doesn't mean live. It just means something you suddenly do without preparation. Yes. Uh... Yes, so it doesn't equal live. It just means something you suddenly do without thinking about it, without any preparation. Beatrice says, Beatriz says, I could follow you and watch you forever. Oh, thank you very much for that. Yesterday, I saw the video where you were broadcasting from local radio. It was very interesting. You spoke very quickly with more of a local accent, even though I was... I could understand it. Yes, that was many years ago. That was way back, I think it was 1988 or 87. Is that on your channel? It's on my YouTube channel, yes. There is a recording of me during my radio days. And that was way back in 1988, I think. 88 or 87. Great conversation. <laughs> Thank you, Sama. Hello, Samia. Ice Waller. We've said your name. I hope you like that. <laughs> you have a few treasures in your video archive. Yes, it's true. There are lots of videos that people haven't watched for, for ages, and they are quite interesting. Things that we've done together, things that I've done on my own in the past. So there are lots of very small, you might describe them as Easter eggs. How and many videos have you on your live channel, Mr. Duncan? I have over 500. Wow, 500. In Ooh. fact, I think it's about 550 now. 
Somebody from Beijing is watching us. Hello to Congratulations. Hello to RH Lu. Hello and a big ni hao. Ni hao to Beijing. Wow. Because we know it's not easy for you to watch us in China. So uh, congratulations. Yes, congratulations. You have to get through the great firewall of China to watch us. <laughs> yes. So you are obviously using a, an external VPN to access. Oh, very technical, Mr. Duncan. Mm. Ooh, look at me. I, know, I, know, I do know some things. <laughs> Improvise. Long, long, long time no see, Mr. Duncan. Oh, hello to you as well. I think you're watching in China as well. We might have a few people watching in China. I think so. So, um, and also Xin Chao, Xin Chao. I think that's hello in Vietnamese. Yes, well, somebody, uh, uh, Gatsu, is uh, saying it's late now oh. uh, in, in Vietnam and they're off to bed. Yes, it's, it's now early in the morning in Vietnam. I think it might be about one o'clock in the morning in Vietnam. Well, it was lovely to have you here watching us and uh, sleep tight. Yes. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. That's what we used to say. That's what my mummy used to say when I was a child. She used to say, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Well, yes. Did you have bed bugs, Mr. Duncan? <laughs> we didn't have any. We had a clean household. We did. We had a lot of bed bugs. Ah, oh, we've got Kitty in uh, Durham in the UK. I don't okay. know where that is. Where, where, where was that? Uh, let me go back, see if I can do this. Uh, other way, I think. There we go. That's it. Oh. Oh, gone. It's gone. It's <laughs> gone. I don't know where it's gone. So many messages, it's vanished. <laughs> Welcome to China, the live show. Thank you very much. Well, I've, I've been to China. I used to live in China. I lived in China for four years, teaching English as a second language. So whereabouts is Durham in England? Whereabouts is it? I don't know. I don't know where Durham. is. I've never is. heard of that. I've never heard of... I've heard of Durham, <laughs> but that's not in England, is it? Ah, oh, we've got somebody from France watching. Uh, Ganymede or Ganymede. Bonjour. Bonjour. A big bonjour to Norfolk. you. Ah, Norfolk. That's where my parents come from, Norfolk. Oh, Norfolk. Yes. So way over on the east coast. That's right. The east coast of England. Renowned for having uh, very few hills. Yeah, very flat. Very flat, but a, a very important agricultural area. Mm. Uh, Ahmed's in Scotland. No, I think I think Ahmed was saying where Durham is. Bonjour, vous parlez français? Uh, no. Uh, petite, un petit. <laughs> un petit. I think that means a little. Mr. Steve is saying that something is small. No, I don't I'm know. saying a little, I think. What, what are you saying, Steve, that's small? Je m'appelle Mr. Stéphane. <laughs> and uh, Monsieur Monsieur uh, Duncan. <laughs> Very Just good. trying a bit of French. Okay, it's been I a think a few years I think since we, I've done that before. Steve, I, should, I think we should stick with English. Hey, uh, très bien. Oh, merci. Ah, très bien, <laughs> très bien. Well done, well done. My, fam my favourite one was. Merci aussi. My favourite was <laughs> écouté. Un my... uh, petit peu. <laughs> What's that? Uh, a, a little. A little. Petit Thank pour. Thank you very much indeed. Not petit pois. Yes. Petit pois is potato, oh. isn't it? <laughs> Brings, think, brings us back to Brexit again, thinking of France. Please say... We don't want to leave. Oh, wait, there's... Please say congratulations. <laughs> Please say congratulations to us for the new year. We are watching you in Moscow. Oh, wow. Thanks, and congratulations for Julia and Alviona. Oh. Hello, Alviona and Julia, and a big hello from, from Much Wenlock Town Centre. We are live at the moment. Well... Something we always, whenever we watch uh, programmes uh, at Christmas time in the UK, they always show us sh uh, um, shots of, of, of Moscow uh, and there's lovely colourful domes and snow everywhere. And it, uh, there's nothing more Christmassy than watching shots of uh, Russia. I would at, like uh, to go there. The year. I want to go to Russia. Mm, I do. So uh, maybe, maybe we could have a similar arrangement to the Brazil trip. 
So if there is a, a very wealthy oligarch watching who wants to treat us to a lovely week in Moscow, you know... Well, maybe, we could do a tour of the entire world. Maybe a very wealthy Russian sugar daddy, you know, you could take care of us and make sure everything's all right and buy us a nice scarf to keep us warm on, de those, on those cold Moscow nights. I think you're getting a bit carried away, Mr. Duncan. I am. I'm into that uh, now. I want to do it. Mm, what is the museum behind us? That is the museum. It's got lots of interesting artefacts and information about this area. Uh, most of it concerning the Olympic Games. It used to be, uh, it used to be a cinema, and uh, there's a, it used to be a cinema, and inside there's there's an old disused uh, projector. Well, that's actually from Bridge North Cinema, the projector. Ah, so somebody's at school. Can't be at school today. I'm nine years and I'm in in school. Please give me a shout out. I would appreciate it. Says Kitty Cat. Hello, Kitty Cat. I thought Kitty Cat was in the UK. I'm not sure. Okay, so Kitty Cat says, can you say hello? So there we go. Hello. Hello, Kitty Cat. You've got a name like a bar of chocolate. Okay. (laughs) Ah, je m'appelle Ganime. Uh, uh, You're a man or a boy. How old are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, it's nice to share a bit of French. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, Mr. Duncan's worried I'm going to say something inappropriate. I'm not saying anything. It's okay. <laughs> don't tell. Don't, you don't have to say everything that's happening. I'm in the UK. I was just saying that I'm in year five. I think it was year five. Well done. Congratulations. But well you're not done. at school at the moment, surely? I, no. Well, I don't think so. Hmm. Where is your town exactly on the map? Well, we don't have a map unfortunately here to show you but we are in what they say what they call the west of england so the midwest and the place we are in is much wenlock in shropshire if you find birmingham on the map uh it's roughly west of there Mm. so not far away from wales no sort of i would say it's from birmingham sort of northwest about 25 miles. Why are you miles. pushing me off? You're slowly uh, pushing me off. My so. back is aching, Mr Duncan, because we've been standing here. You poor... Uh, for bib- how long have we been on now, Mr Duncan? We have been on now for an hour and three minutes. Uh, mon jour préféré is... Uh, you know, I would stop reading the French. Dimanche. If, I can't remember what that means. Dimanche. Dimanche. I don't isn't know. Isn't dimanche... That, that's a time of the day, isn't it? I think it is. Yes. Is it? Or is oh, people are asking about what gifts that you sent to me. Well, we're going to re- reveal what, what gifts we bought each other. Yes, on, on Sunday. 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 So you have to oh. watch us on Sunday and then we will show all. Yes, I see, I was right. Dimanche oh. is the day of the week. Thank you very What's much. What's your favourite day of the week? Mm, I don't know, really. Probably Saturday. So I think you like Dimanche. I'm more a Mechredi kind of guy. So I'm, I'm more a Mechredi kind of guy. Whatever that is. It's the day of the week. <laughs> oh, right, OK. No, we, we, the, the French is getting more difficult now. <laughs> I think I know what's happening. I think Mr Steve's brain is starting to freeze. It is, it is. It's getting very cold here. Shall we and move? it's getting dark as well. Yes, well, it's starting to get dark. We're moving. Because it's late. It's now. Can you believe what time it is now? Oh, hello there. If you just joined us, we're live from the town in which we live, which is much Wenlock. And it is now, oh, it's 10 minutes away from four o'clock here in the UK. It's so much like the French language. It's like an online course for French. I think so. It does feel a bit like that. No, I don't know any Portuguese language, I'm afraid. So shall we have a look in the spa shop? Um, Let's see. Not, Not literally. But we will. Uh, well, we can go up the high street because there's no there's no traffic here today. It's very very quiet here in the high street. There's no there's no traffic. In fact, there's no traffic at all. So so sure am I that there's no traffic. I've actually I'm actually now standing in the middle of the road. Watch this, Steve. Watch what watch what. 
So we are now standing right outside the spa shop. Now someone was saying that, that they were in there working, but I don't believe them. I think maybe they are playing a little trick. That's what I think anyway. It's Mr. Steve is here. There you are. I always stand on the, 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 the left of you, Mr. Duncan. You know that. <laughs> Uh, yes, we're standing outside the spa shop. Uh, we can have a sneaky look inside. It's not. It's a lady that's working in there. There's mm. a lady working in there. So I think it's safe to say that there isn't someone in the spa shop watching us. I think it's safe to say. Definitely. Outside in 10 minutes. OK, then. Well, we can't wait 10 minutes because it's getting dark and we've got to go back. <laughs> I don't believe you anyway. I don't <laughs> believe they're there anyway. So this is how sure... I am that there's no traffic. Watch this. I'm going to stand in the, in the middle of the road. Watch this. So <laughs> we are now literally, literally in the middle of the road. Come across, Steve. There we go. So that's how quiet it is today. We're now in the high street and there's no traffic. Look, can you see there's nothing? It's so quiet. Let's wait for the, the next car to come along. That'll be exciting, Mr. Duncan. Oh. Here we go. There's a car coming. There's a car coming. Yes. Move across. How long are we going to stay? Move here? away, Steve. We're going to play chicken now. Well, that was exciting, Mr. Duncan. We nearly got run over. Ooh, did you see that? It wasn't that exciting. <laughs> disturb some strangers for fun. Yes. No, Shall no. we do that, Mr. Unfortunately, Duncan? if we if we did disturb some strangers, they might not be very pleased about it. That's what mm. I think anyway. So, yes, it's all very busy around here. Lots of people. I was surprised at how many people there are here. So, there now we are now definitely we are definitely in front of the spa shop. So, there is the spa shop you can see now inside. If you move across, Steve, there, you see? So that's actually the spa shop. And you can see there's no one in there. It's actually dead. There's no one in there. It's empty. <laughs> and we won't be going in there because we've already bought all of our chocolate and all of our treats Yes, we don't well. need anything else uh, because we've got plenty of food. In fact, uh, you know, if we had two weeks of snow or, the, or there was some natural disaster, we could stay alive for about, well, about two weeks. Yes, uh, but we don't want that, Mr. Duncan. Okay, uh, then. We would be raiding the spa shop. <laughs> uh, Icy Snipers is definitely not being honest with us. Definitely not. Let's go a bit further up, Steve. I have a strange feeling that we're, that we're in the way. We will be going soon, by the way. We will be leaving you. We don't want to stay on too long. There are some very strange names, by the way here in Much Wenlock. Some streets have some very strange names. And here's one of them now. Look at that. Can you see that, Steve? It says, what does it say? The George Shut. Yes, we don't know what that means. And that means that, that there is a little sort of alleyway going up the side of one of the pubs here. So yes, the George Shut is what it's called. And look, oh, look up there, Steve, look. There is a lovely sign. It says Merry Christmas. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I do like that. Let's just put the camera down and then we can show you the sign. Oh, yes, I like that. I hope we can zoom in. Let's zoom in. Oh, yes, look at that. We can zoom right in. So there it is. So I, that's... I think shut. Someone's asking what does shut mean. I think it just means like passage. Hmm. Oh, there's another car coming, Mr. Duncan. Well, maybe it's it's a type of a type of thing that you can lock or close. So I think it might mean something that you can close or lock. Yes, you could be right there, Mr. Duncan. So it might be a passageway that you can close up or shut. Mm. Hence the name. So we are live in the centre of Much Wenlock, and it's a very strange experience. I must. Have, I don't think we've ever stayed here this late. I don't think we have, but as you can see, it's getting very dark, <laughs> and we need to walk back through some woods to get home. Steve's getting very scared. I didn't realise you were so afraid. Let's put us back on. Yes, there we are. Can you see? There we are. We are live, and we are now on 
YouTube. I, I see said they're coming out now, so yes, out you come and we'll interview you. <laughs> I don't want to interview anyone, if I was honest. We're going anyway in a moment because it is absolutely freezing and also it's getting dark. So now we are going, oh, there's Steve, look, can you see Steve? Steve is doing his silly walk. It's not very easy doing this, by the way. It's not very easy carrying a camera and then walking at the same time, but we will try our best. I tell you what, Steve, we'll go back to the square, shall we? Yes. <laughs> we'll go back to where we started and then we will say goodbye. So we are going in a moment. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been very unusual, something very strange and unusual. <laughs> this is not as easy as it looks. Are we going to finish where we started? We are, we're finishing right here where we started. So we will go very soon. One last look at the live chat before we disappear. What are you going to eat tonight, says Irene. We've already covered that, but we're going to have the leftover chicken and I'm going to fry the leftover vegetables and make what we call bubble and squeak. Bubble and squeak. Because when you fry the vegetables, the carrots, the sprouts, potatoes in a frying pan, it makes a squeaking sound. Yes, it, 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 it will bubble and also because the air will escape from underneath the vegetables that are frying, it makes a sort of squeaking noise. It does and it goes, it's a nice way to use up, delicious way to use up leftover vegetables uh, to fry them in a frying pan with some oil. <laughs> I can tell you something, no one else is doing this today. Uh, no. I don't think any other person in the world is actually standing live in the place they live, talking well, to the camera. We will go to Vietnam if you pay us to go. Yeah. Please uh, send us a nice donation, yeah. which includes... Steve's talking all over the belt. For flu. Yes, uh, I haven't got flu. It's four o'clock. I haven't got flu, uh, Murat. No. <laughs> well, it, ah, because I keep blowing my nose. Yes. Yes, ah. Well, I've just got, because it's cold. <laughs> That's what happens to old people. Because it's cold, it makes your nose run. I don't actually have a cold or any infection at all. Thank you, though, for, uh, for wishing me well. It's just my nose is running because it's cold. But you will notice this with old people. When you see old people on a cold day, what happens is they get a little bit of water at the end of their nose and it, it will drip off their nose. So yes, a lot, of, a lot of elderly people. It's time to go, Mr. Duncan. It's is very, it? very cold. Yes, Steve is freezing cold and also it's starting to get dark. Matrix is starting. Uh, uh, GCSE English in January. It is hard. Good Any advice? Well, it depends. It depends. Where, when are you taking it? In January. Well, you haven't got much time to improve anything. So normally with exams, you normally need at least at least three or four months to prepare. So to be honest with you, you, you should have prepared already. I think they probably have. Just keep revising. Watch us and uh, listen to how we're speaking English. Yes. And uh, you, I, you will be fine because I'm sure you've already done lots of preparation. Yes, your uh, teachers, study. well, what they normally say is your teacher should give you an idea of what you'll be tested on and the areas that the exam will cover. Uh, Rosa, I don't have a cold. Everyone thinks I've got the cold or flu. I think the other uh, problem is your nose looks red. I know, it's because it's cold uh, and I keep having to do that, otherwise I'll get drops of uh, snot on the end of my nose. Uh, nice. Maybe if we stay out here much longer, Mr Duncan, I will get flu. I think so. So my feet are cold. I think it's time to go back, Mr Duncan. Yes. Don't worry, Jimmy, Jimmy, because Steve has plenty of, plenty of tissues. My hooter, my nose. Steve has plenty of tissues in his pocket. Got loads of them here. Because his nose is always running. It's running. Red nose. I must look like Rudolph, yes. the red nose reindeer. Yes, it, it is quite funny. Your nose looks very red. <laughs> it's because it's cold. This is what we're suffering. Mr. Duncan is keeping me outside. Yes, look how we're, we're suffering. We are suffering to entertain you. 
The temperature in much Wenlock is probably about six degrees now, I would say. Yes, it's, it's not de- that cold, but we've been standing here for au revoir. Uh, goodbye, au revoir to you too. Yes, uh, was that a complete sentence then? No, I couldn't read the rest of it. That was like two conversations you were having there. <laughs> so we will be going soon. Yes, we've been here for an hour and... Steve? Yes? An hour and... 15 minutes. Well, I think it's time to go, Mr. Duncan. That is incredible. Omar has the flu. Oh, dear. Get well, well. Get well soon, get Omar. Get well soon. Get well soon. I used to know an Omar. Did you? From Dubai. Yes, I did. Are you the same Omar from Dubai I used to know many years ago? <laughs> I'm sure he would mention that. Oh, people are enjoying the live stream and they don't want us to go. That's a shame. Could, well, we, could we live stream all the way back, do you think? No, well, I, maybe I'm, not. That I'm would not, be difficult. Well, it would be a bit difficult because, well, first of all, I have to carry all this equipment. That's true. And we might trip over. We can start walking back. The other problem is, of course, we might lose the feed from, from the mobile phone. So that's the big thing. The big problem is the signal. We will definitely appreciate your effort. Thank you very much, Lydia. And also, where are your gloves? My gloves are in the bag. We will put our gloves on in a moment. So don't worry. We are going now. We will see you on Sunday at 2 p.m. UK time. Don't forget, 2 p.m. UK time on Sunday. We will be with you for two hours. Two hours on Sunday. And uh, you'll be there for two hours. I'll be there for an hour and a half. Yeah. So we will be there. Ciao to everyone. Bye, Omar. Bye, Anna. Bye, Adele. See you on Sunday. We are going now because it is absolutely freezing cold. Thank you very much. Ta-ta. Tias. Thank you, Tias. And we will see you on Sunday. (coughs) Mr. Duncan sneezing. You see, that's how bad it's getting. I just just sneezed then. (laughs) Bye-bye. Did you hear me sneeze? I remember last year, Mr. Steve sneezed when we were in the churchyard. Everyone saying bye-bye to us now. Bye, Beatrice. Bye, Fuong. There's a dog barking now. Oh, bye-bye, bye. barking dog. Bye, Christopher. Bye, Amel. <laughs> <laughs> it's all happening now. Everyone's bringing their dogs out. There's a dog fight. Yes. Bye to Robbies. Bye to Amel. See you later. And... Of course, you know what's coming next. Until Sunday, 2 p.m. UK time, it's Mr. Duncan and... Mr. Steve. Saying, of course, take care, enjoy the rest of your Christmas holiday, if you are having a holiday. And, of course, you know what's coming next. Yes, you do. Ta-ta for now.